Hello and welcome to this new grease pencil tutorial. This is a free snippet from my grease pencil glasses animation course that you can buy from the blender market or watch for free on Skillshare using the links in the description. Let's start. Now I want to draw some reflections. Let's go back to camera view. Let's add a new layer, Y, and you see these plus signs here. If you click here, you'll add a layer above the lenses layer. If you click here, you can add a layer above the temples layer or under the temples layer. So this is our new layer. Let's make it active and let's release Y. Let's go to draw mode. Let's select our draw tool. Thankfully, our solid stroke is still pinned here. And this time we won't use the material color, but we will use color attributes. What's great about materials colors is that if I want to change my frame color now, I just select my material, go here under stroke and change the stroke color. So now I have a completely different color without having to edit anything or draw anything from scratch just to escape but if you use a lot of colors in your drawings you won't be able to create multitudes of materials with different colors so this is where we can use instead color attributes with our materials and this is similar to what classic drawing softwares use let's click on this color here and change to white let's increase the size of the brush f and let's draw some strokes here i want to draw something like this let's decrease the size of the brush and draw another line and another one now i want to go to edit mode tab the transform fill tool is still selected let's select our selection tool let's disable proportional editing and let's enable overlays i want to select this stroke and i want to enable curve editing to create more zigzags here let's delete this point here or dissolve it by doing xd you see there is a line under D here. So D, I want to move this point here and then I can extend my line. So you can kind of draw inside edit mode. And that's why edit mode is very powerful. If you do E, you will extend this point and you will create a new line. Then E again, extend, E again, and E again. I will do the same here. G, let's move this point a little bit. I can rotate it with R a little bit. And then E to extend. E again. E again. E again. So the reflection will only show inside the frames. But you will see later why we need all these extended stroke here. Let's select this one now. It's hard to select it. Maybe with a box select. Yes. And let's move this point up here. And then this one here. Let's do L to select everything and I think I will change its thickness a little bit. Alt S. Now I select this one. Let's try to box select it again. Move this one here. I think I will dissolve this point to XD. Select this point. Move it up. Hover over it. L to select both points and maybe increase the thickness this time. So Alt S increase it just a little bit. Now let's select this guy. Again, hover over it and L. I think I will decrease its thickness. So Alt S and... Now we can go out of curve editing mode. And I want to select all these strokes. And since the other layers or the inactive layers are locked, I can do just A. Anything in the other layers is not selected. Shift D to duplicate. Maybe I can rotate them a little bit. Shift D again. Let's rotate it a little bit. Shift D again. Again, rotate just a little bit. I think this is enough. You may add another one. And now let's do the opposite. Shift D again and... Now you see that these strokes are on the same plane of our frame. But I want to create a parallax effect. And for that, I will need to move these strokes a little bit forward. So I do A to select everything. Let's move in 3D space here. And I want to move them halfway between the frame and the camera. So I will do G and Y to restrain the movement on the front to back axis and move them a little bit here. I can do three to be more precise and see when it is in the middle. Of course, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. GY and move it a little bit more. Back to camera view. And I think I will resize my strokes because they are closer to the camera. They look bigger. So I do S to resize them. And I think this is good. I want all three 
of these lines to show inside this frame. Maybe move a little bit, G. Maybe I should have added another column from here. So let's select these three. And while each of these three has some points selected, I can do Control L to select the whole of them. And then Shift D and again, and be sure you are in camera view because the camera view is looking at the front or on front view when you do this by doing one on the keyboard. So here you will be safe and you will know that you are moving your strokes in this flat plane. If you are on different plane and you move your stroke like this, it will move out of the plane as you can see here. So make sure you are either in camera view, if your camera is facing front or on the front view, let's rotate these strokes again a little bit and move them with G back to camera view. And now how to hide everything of these strokes and keep only the parts that show on the lenses. So for that, we go to our layers panel. Let's rename our reflections layer enter and let's hit this dot here to add a mask or to mask this layer and here under masks we will choose the layer that will mask our reflections and that will be of course our lenses layer so you hit this plus button and you choose lenses now all you can see are the parts inside our lenses and if you want the opposite effect that is to mask the parts that are inside and show the parts outside you go here and invert your mask now all we have to do is to decrease the opacity of our reflections so here and we do this disable overlays again let's go out of camera view and you see that we have the school parallax effect and you see also why we extended the lines so that when we rotate the glasses we don't get to the edge very quickly we still could have extended them more but i think it can have a cool effect if your animation is fast enough and the reflections disappear quickly and also if you get closer you see that at some point the reflections disappear and that also is a cool effect that's because at some point the strokes now since they are in front of the lenses are behind the camera or your point of view thanks guys for watching get the full course from the blender market or watch it for free on skillshare using the links in the description see you in another video and peace